Um, I don't know much. So I know the makeup's kind of a lot, but like, don't judge me. I'm stuck home all day, every day. So like, this is the only time I get to see people or like people get to see me. So like, I wanted to look nice, you know, or at least like as nice as I could. Cause like, come on, this is what we're working with. It's only gonna look so good. Anyways, welcome back to my channel. We are here today to discuss what a scam looks like. You know, I get a lot of people actually DMing me on Instagram and I love it, please do. My contact info is all down in the description box. I love talking to my fans because y'all, you're my kids, you're my, you're my people now, all right? Like we are here together, um, yeah. So let's be friends, like, that's not a one-way street, like, let's communicate, okay? Like, my door's open, your door's open, like, I got a problem, you got a problem, let's chat it out, I don't even know. Basically, I get a lot of questions asking, is this legit, is that legit, what does the scam look like, all I get is this or that in my inbox, and like, how do you know something's legit, and I mean, I'm not an expert, I am a person who has done this a few times, who has a general idea of, of common sense-ness. Some ideas that help me in my life to not get scammed. So the number one thing I'm gonna say is your gut. Like, just trust it, okay? So like, something sounds funky, something feels off, you know, the profile picture, the name, the whatever it is that gives you a vibe, the way they're talking, blah, blah, blah. Like, if you feel it, then you know it. So just like, let it go, you know, let it go. Um, the next one is, uh, I get a lot of this one and I'm gonna actually make a separate video about this because there is a fetish and I forget what the actual, give me a second, I'm gonna look it up financial domination, which apparently is a thing. Hold on, I'm gonna fart. Okay, I'm good. Okay, we're back. Now, my understanding of this, and like I say, I'm gonna make a whole separate video, but short, uh, brief explanation people that get off on having money taken from them. So I get messages pretty frequently with, I assume, men asking me, will I take their money? And my answer is always yes, because I will always take your money. I absolutely will take your money. Please give it to me. I want it. I will take it. I'll have all of it. I don't give a shit about you. Give me your things. I want them. I'll take them. Yes, I will. However, they then go into, let's get on Team Viewer. My understanding is that this is like a work uh, app or whatever, um, so that people can like work collaboratively. Um, they always want to use Team Viewer to have you access their bank account while they watch, and they can't do anything to stop you. And that's the like, ooh, we're happy about this, but. I don't know for sure what stops them from accessing your information. So if someone asks you if you will go on TeamViewer and take their money, you can string them along, you can say whatever you want, you can make it fun, but do not, I beg of you, use TeamViewer uh, for this act because everything I've seen has said that yes, they 100% will access your info take everything that you love and that's important to you and leave you confused. And the next one I'm going to talk about is uh, a sugar daddy one. I think generally it's a sugar daddy one, but they will have a chart um, for cash apps. And the chart will say, if you send me $10, I send you $100. If you send me $20, I send you $200 or $2,000 or whatever it is. Let me be very clear. In no way, shape, or form should you have to give money to anyone. Literally, if someone wants to be your sugar daddy, and if I'm gonna be somebody's sugar baby, 
Like I'm like a sugar grandma at this point. If somebody wants to have that type of relationship with you, money probably isn't the exchange on your end. Just saying, like if they have cash, they don't want or need your cash. Like if someone wants to send you $100, is going to, is gonna follow through on that, they're gonna do it whether you send them 10 bucks or not. Don't lose your 10 bucks, man. Just don't do it. That's not a good idea. And the last sort of scam, I'm doing a lot of this today that I'm gonna tell you about um, is one that's like a little bit trickier to pinpoint, okay? And it's personal. It's like, draw your own line. I have gotten into many a conversation where no money is ever passing hands, okay? So do not give someone for free what they should be paying for, okay? They wanna have a conversation about your feet, your farts, your butt, your legs, your whatever it is that you're talking about. Don't give it away for free. Why should somebody be getting their rocks off without paying? I mean, this is a give and take world. I don't know about you, but it's like, I don't wanna see a dick pic. I don't want you to talk dirty to me. I don't want any of those things, so stop sending them to me. Having a conversation almost always has to happen, but I can normally tell within, I wanna say five or six messages, whether it's gonna actually go somewhere. If they're asking for your payment info, if they know what they want, then absolutely entertain a little bit of banter get the conversation going, but again, it's all up to you. Like you wanna talk for an hour with some person, do it, that's your call. I don't wanna waste my time. I don't want to spend an hour that I could spend with my kids chatting with some person about my feet when I really don't care. I'm not getting anything from this conversation. I'm not turned on, I'm not interested. I'm like, you seem like a cool person. You wanna buy or do you wanna get out? Like. Are you getting someone who is placing an order? Or are you literally just giving someone the pleasure of a naughty conversation for free? If you're working for two or three hours to make 10 bucks, really evaluate your process. Streamline it, see what you can do to get in and out a little quicker. That's what I appreciate, that's what I look for. Cause like, it is a service you're providing. So like, if they're willing to pay for it, they will pay for it. If they're not willing to pay for it, you're gonna see that really quick. Just be aware, keep your eyes, I was gonna say keep your eyes turned on. Don't turn your eyes off. Why, why would you do that? Anyway, I think that basically covers all of these sort of tips and tricks for scams that I wanted to talk about. Those are the big ones that jump out at me because man oh man, let me tell you, I have had so much fun in my inbox since then. I'm really just out here trying to like make some moolah, be a nice person, not cross any personal boundaries, and that's it, that's all, that's all I got. Um, I love you, I'll see you next time.